what's up my name is Aaliyah welcome or welcome back to my channel and welcome to a summer ween reading vlog So for those of you who don't know, Summerween is a week-long readathon hosted by Gabby from Gabby Reads and Olivia from Olivia Reads a Latte, and they host this lovely readathon every year where we read spooky books and horror books and thriller books for a whole week in July to bring the fun autumnal Halloween spirit into the summertime. And so this year I am really excited because we are not moving this summer. <laughs> so last year Peyton and I were moving during the week of Summerween and we moved into this apartment and it was great and it was our first place together uh, but it was incredibly hectic and crazy last year. So this year we're just gonna hang out and read some books and I have a little TBR to show you. So these are all the books that I want to read this week. Um, I did a little Summerween TBR video where I read the first chapter of 11 different horror books. If you want to check that out I'll leave it linked down below. And so the goal is to try and get through as many these books as I can and also try and hit all the Summerween reading prompts that Olivia and Gabby have made up for us. So that's basically the plan. Hopefully we can do some spooky baking and maybe go on some little adventures. If it's really hot we might go to the lake, maybe, we'll see. Um, but it is going to be a hot and sweaty week for sure because we do not have central AC in this apartment. So if I look like I'm sweaty um, it's because I certainly am sweaty and damp and probably uncomfortable. <laughs> but Regardless of all that, we are going to have a lovely time this week. I'm so excited. I decorated my shelves for spooky season just to get into the spirit a little bit more. So without any further ado, let's get into the vlog. Saturday. It's day two of Summerween and so far I haven't read a single page. Uh, we love that for me. So yesterday I came home from work and I was totally brain dead and Peyton and I went out for Chinese food and then I came home and edited my try chapter Summerween TBR till like 2 30 in the morning and uh, that's all she wrote folks. So <laughs> so we need to do some serious reading today. So I think the first book I want to start is The Last Housewife by Ashley Winstead. I really want to get to this because her new book is coming out in early October and that one looks really good but I want to read this one first and this one is about a woman who used to be involved with a cult and I think she and her college roommate were both involved in it and she escaped it and moved away to Texas and then one day she's listening to a true crime podcast and she finds out that her best friend from college uh, has died and the police think it's a suicide but the host of the true crime podcast thinks it's a murder and so I think the two of them like team up to try and like solve the case and it sounds really good. I've heard great things about this book and I'm really excited to get into it and it counts for the prompt of read a thriller. So I thought we could get into this today and I also just got uh, some new highlighters and tabs so I think I'm going to highlight and tab in it as well. And then Peyton and I also need to go to the store today because we have no food and we're also out of Nutella which is absolutely unacceptable. UNACCEPTABLE! And I really want to make some Nutella brownies, so once we get Nutella, then we can do that this week. Um, but if we're going to do it, we're going to have to bake them either early in the morning or late in the evening because it's getting really hot and we don't have central AC in our apartment. So that's the fun part about Summerween is that we're vlogging and sweating for like a whole week. Uh, so I'm hot. So if it looks like I'm sweating, it's because I'm sweating. <laughs> uh, but I'm going to go read and then I will update you with all of my thoughts later on. Adios.
Oh, happy Sunday. Happy day three of Summerween. So it's already like 4 p.m. because I was totally right in my TBR video when I said I was worried that I wasn't going to feel good this week um, because I totally got cramps and felt like shit and lost like multiple hours of the day, which sucked, but whatever. Um, but yeah, I, I don't feel good today. I kind of feel like a dead raccoon in the garage, to be honest. Like, I'm deceased. I'm flatlined. There's no twitching. Um, <laughs> but that aside, I did do some reading last night and a little bit this morning. And so I started The Last Housewife by Ashley Winstead. And this is going really well so far. I'm really enjoying it. Um, so far, I'm still in the beginning. And we're following the main character, Shay, as she goes to New York to try and investigate the death of her friend. Um, and she goes back to her old college and is kind of walking around and you start to get a sense of like the bad things that happened to her and her friends when they were there. And I'm really excited to hear more about like what exactly they were into because this is really good so far. And I get the feeling this is actually gonna be like really dark and it's really gonna go there. And I'm excited for that. And then I also decided to start Garlic and the Vampire last night because I was really wanting to read a short book just so I could feel a little bit more like accomplished at the beginning of this readathon. And so I started this and I really, really like it so far. The art style is so pretty. Um, let me see if I can find a super cute page to show you. So basically it's about this little character named Garlic. And in this book, there's a bunch of little vegetable people who all live in this little village together. And there's this witch lady right here who like created them basically to help her like tend her garden and stuff. And uh, the little plant people have kind of become like sentient and like have their own personalities and like have their own desires and stuff now. So one day they're hanging out in the garden and the little vegetable people realize that there's this castle on the hill that's been abandoned for a long time and now it looks like there's somebody living there like there's smoke coming out of the chimney and stuff and they get kind of freaked out because the witch says that a vampire used to live there and like maybe he's back and so they all kind of vote to send garlic on a mission to go and check out what's going on at the castle and it's really cute the vegetable people are so tender and adorable um, and the witch lady is kind of like this matronly, almost like mother figure to them, and it's super cute. Um, but there is one guy, this guy, this little celery guy right here. Oh my god, he's such an asshole to garlic the whole time. Mr. Celery can choke, but everybody else is a homie. And this book is just super tender and cute. I love the art style. And I also feel like this is really getting me into like the autumnal mood of Summerween. Um, and I like that... The art is beautiful but the story is also really good because I feel like sometimes with graphic novels the art is like stunning to look at but the story is kind of not totally all there but this story is actually really good and um, there's also a really cute friendship between garlic and this little carrot guy and I don't know if they're like just friends or if this carrot man has like a crush on her but they're adorable together and I really like them so I'm really enjoying both of my summerween books so far um, and this one counts for the prompt of to read a thriller and then this one could count for a bunch of different things so it could count for the prompt to read a graphic novel and it also has a little bit of like orange and black on the cover um, and then it, it's also set in the fall so that covers three prompts right there and then the thriller one is taken care of by this one and then I was thinking if I do some more reading tonight and I read in the dark then I'll already have hit all of the prompts um, so I'm really excited about that. So that's what I've been reading. And I'm also thinking that today I want to try and finish Garlic and the Vampire. And then I might also start the audiobook for My Best Friend's Exorcism by Grady Hendrix because I have been really wanting to read that one too. And I have some chores I want to do today. So I was thinking I could listen to the audiobook while I like pick up the house and stuff. So I think that's the plan. And I am going to go read and then I will see you later. Adios.
So I just finished reading Garlic and the Vampire and I'm gonna give it 4.5 stars. It was so good. I loved it. It was so freaking cute. I'm gonna give it a 4.5 because I think that the art is so incredibly stunning and detailed that this deserves a really high rating. And I also really enjoyed the story. I thought the friendship element was really cute and I also really liked all the nature imagery in here. There's just so many cute pictures of like gardens and stuff. I gotta show you this one. It's so stinking cute. Look at that. Look at all the little plants and stuff. Little garlic is such a doll. So anyways, I loved this and this counted for a bunch of different prompts. So I'm going to count it for a book with orange and black on the cover, a book set in the fall, and a graphic novel. So without any further ado, let's get into My Best Friend's Exorcism by Grady Hendrix. <music> So last night we went to the store and we got the goods. So we are gonna make some Nutella brownies tonight. I'm so excited. And I would have made them last night, but I came home from the store and passed out and took a three hour nap because I am an old granny. <laughs> so we're gonna make brownies and then we're gonna have a cozy time and do a bunch of reading tonight. It's already like 8 p.m. because I was working all day and then I came home and called my mom for like three hours. So we're burning daylight, but that's fine. So time for brownies. This is my brownie dance. <laughs> okay, bye. That's good. That's great. Don't film your stinky toes, Petunia. <laughs> the people don't want to see your toes. You're gonna attract the weird foot fetish folks. That's not what we're about. Stop <laughs> driving. <laughs> are you here to help? You're not here to help, are you? <laughs> are you gonna be mischievous or are you gonna assist me? You're supposed to be my assistant. My trusty assistant is not assisting. <laughs> okay, come here and help me. Well, the brownies turned out really good. So I will leave the link in the description down below if you want to check out the recipe in case you want to make some lovely brownies yourself. And uh, I think it's time to go read. So I read some more of My Best Friend's Exorcism by Grady Hendrix and I'm 101 pages in and I am obsessed with this book. It's so good. I love the way that the author portrayed female friendship in here. The main characters uh, Gretchen and Abby are really close but there's also a couple other girls and their friend group and the four of them are really really tight and they're like ride or die for each other and I really like the way that he talks about their friend group and how these girls care so much about everything and they're sophomores in high school and like they care about their hair and their grades and their makeup and each other and I totally feel that because I was totally the same way in high school and our main character Abby is telling the story of how she and her friends went out one night and they went to go skinny dipping and something happened to her friend Gretchen and Gretchen is like not the same and something is like wrong with her and Abby also talks a lot about like her own experiences so Abby has kind of a rough home life her dad is like totally a deadbeat and doesn't really give a shit about her and um she talks about how she like really struggles with acne and like having acne scars and Abby spends like half an hour every morning like covering her face in like really thick makeup so nobody can see her scars and that like really hit for me too because I also used to do that in high school too. Just like, you know, being 16 and like being insecure about your acne and 
just wanting to fit in with everybody else and you know trying to do well in school and all of that stuff was so spot on i honestly don't know how grady hendrix like captured that so well in here but it's great it's really well done and then i also really like uh this one particular scene that i just got to with gretchen um after the whole incident with the skinny dipping situation um that night gretchen kind of got like lost in the forest and she's obviously like kind of having um like flashbacks and she feels like somebody is like touching her all the time like she keeps feeling like the back of her neck like somebody's poking her or like touching her and she's having a hard time sleeping because at night she feels like somebody's like grabbing her legs and stuff and it's freaking her out really bad um but gretchen also seems like she went into the woods and got lost and came out as a bad bitch because oh my god <laughs> uh in let's see which chapter is this it's called one thing leads to another and uh gretchen like goes off at this guy who's dating her friend margaret and this guy wallace is like such an asshole just constantly being rude to the girls in the friend group and he's a senior and they're sophomores and so you know he's on the football team he's like this cool guy or whatever and gretchen just goes off on wallace and just roasts his ass in front of everybody ah, oh my god it's so good and uh this book is set in the 80s and so the girls kind of talk about like at their school there's a lot of talk about like faith and honor and they kind of like blame the girls for everything and it's a really strict dress code and uh basically there's this attitude of like if you get in trouble you're supposed to like just apologize profusely and everything to like get out of it and gretchen is like starting to get in trouble at school and instead of like acting all demure and like apologizing and stuff she's like standing up for herself and like really calling people out on their shit and it is so good oh my god um so anyways and the other girls are like oh my god Gretchen like what are you doing like we don't do that you know what I mean it's very like taboo to do that and Gretchen man I don't know she's got some stuff going on so she's like calling people out on on their shit but she's also having like weird flashbacks and there's this weird scene where she throws up all over the grass at school and she's like puking up like black feathers and her best friend abby is like what the hell is going on <laughs> so anyways gretchen is having a time but i'm really into this book and i'm really interested to see what happens so far it's very good it's super well written it like grabbed my attention right from the first chapter and i'm excited to see where this goes i love the female friendship in here it's fantastic but also just like the vibes are immaculate and every chapter is named after a different song and there's a lot of talk in here about drugs and uh music and like having the big hair and the crazy makeup and all that kind of stuff and i think it's really cool so i'm super into this um and i think that's where i'm gonna leave this vlog thank you so much for watching if you go to the end of this vlog leave me a little ghost emoji in the comments and don't forget to like and subscribe so that you can see all of my other summer wing content that will be coming soon and i will see you in my next summer wing vlog bye